What's going on you savages? Welcome back to another episode of The Roundup. This is episode 202, keeping you guys up to date on the latest news and rumors. As always, uh, before we get into it, quick shout out to our sponsor, WrestleCrate, HOG Wrestling, and Super Slam Wrestling. More info down in the description below. To start this episode, I want to discuss the latest in regards to Sheamus because we do got an update in regards to his injury. As I discussed in the previous episode, Sheamus has been dealing with a neck injury over the past six months which he revealed in one of his youtube videos and dave Meltzer indicated that this is not a good thing at all because this type of injury that sheamus is currently dealing with led to the retirement of stone cold steve austin and edge so could sheamus career be coming to an end due to this injury it is certainly a concern but the fact that the wwe has kept sheamus on television means that they probably know he will be a hundred percent healed up because because again, they would have kept him off television if there's any type of risk in regards to it. We know that the WWE doesn't play around with that, so the fact that Sheamus is still on TV is a good sign that at least things are getting better and it's not gonna get to that point as of right now. So I wanted to let you guys know that because it seems like a lot of people are reporting that Sheamus is just gonna quote unquote retire, when I highly doubt that that is the case. On some very interesting news, last week NXT revealed a quote unquote mystery debut coming soon with the letter O being showcased with ace of space there has been a lot of speculation on who could this be but ultimately wwe themselves kind of spilled the beans because when you go to this teaser trailer on their website the url ultimately showcased that it is Shayna baszler who was of course in the mayon classic and has been rumored to be coming to the wwe because ultimately we're gonna get that four versus four horsewoman match so will it be happening at WrestleMania 34 with the rumors that Ronda Rousey is already on the way to WWE, could this be something that's gonna be happening? It certainly seems like WWE is headed that way. Moving on to some other news, reports are indicating that there is a good chance Eddie Edwards could be heading to the WWE next year. Dave Meltzer reported that his contract with Impact Wrestling runs out in February and there's a good chance he could be leaving the company because WWE is showing interest in getting him on some very interesting news on what it is to come we might be getting another john cena versus roman reigns match soon or at least we are going to be getting one at madison square garden on december 26 although we won't be able to see it because it is a live event but could the wwe be setting up for another roman reigns versus john cena match in the future this could also means that we might be getting john cena back before the royal rumble because usually when he comes back for a couple of live events he also ends up coming back for television even if it's just for a month or two let's not forget the fact that the royal rumble and wrestlemania is right around the corner and chances are that john cena is going to be taking big part of those pay-per-views so john cena could be making his return within the next three to four weeks and let's talk about the latest in regards to gender mahal so as you guys know gender mahal versus triple h just happened in india the latest report is coming from case i seats there was a lot of speculation surrounding how w WWE will handle the main event of their show in India, where former WWE champion Jinder Mahal was set to face the legendary Triple H. The Jinder Mahal experiment, which saw the company quickly elevate the Canadian of Indian descent from enhancement talent to the top position on SmackDown Live, took coincide with marketing efforts in the second most populated country on earth, already show signs of being less than successful. Jinder Mahal was booked to drop the title prior to a swing through India which figured to be the centerpiece of his reign, removing him from a Survivor Series match against Brock Lesnar. Then the tour was cut in half, reportedly due to poor ticket sales. Now in front of 2.3 billion of his people, as WWE keep telling us, the modern day Maharaja played the game and lost. Very different than what we saw the night before where we got Triple H versus Roman Reigns and of course Roman Reigns went over. Of According to a fan report on Wrestling Inc, the crowd responded well to both men. The finish was booked with Triple H escaping a figure four before Jinder Mahal kicked out of a pedigree. Jinder was then distracted by the crowd somehow before he could hit his Colas finisher and the referee counted three after a second pedigree. At this point, it seems like WWE wants to keep Jinder Mahal relevant by keeping him in a main event position match, although he's 
still gonna be losing those type of big matches. It certainly doesn't seem like WWE is giving Jinder Mahal the title once again because after all, he didn't even get to defeat Triple H in his home quote unquote home country. Reports have also indicated that there were some empty seats at these events. So it looks like the WWE have realized that the Jinder Mahal experiment quote unquote hasn't necessarily been working or at least it hasn't worked as much as they have wanted to. Should be very interesting to see where exactly WWE takes Jinder Mahal's career from now on. I personally think that now that Jinder Mahal at least has some type of momentum, don't bring him down all the way to where he was before by being a jobber, instead keep him somewhere in between. Nonetheless, you savages, that is what I got for you guys for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoy. If you guys did, make sure that you guys outbow drop that like button. More roundup episode coming up, so stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet, because we're in the road to 50,000 subscribers. I'm going to see you Dig it.